In the midst of what will likely be a heated election cycle, immigration reform will surely resurface in presidential debates. The conversation spills over into Congress, stirring conflicts between the administration and congressional Republicans. Constitutionally, we are a part of the process. The American people are shareholders, and they deserve to be consulted when major immigration policy is being formulated. Last summer, President Obama issued the, quote, Administration Alternatives to Comprehensive Immigration Memorandum. The memo gives the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services the power to exercise prosecutorial discretion and delay removal proceedings for certain individuals already in the country. Congress gives us the ability to, to finance removals of 400,000 people a year. Um, we can just remove anybody uh, without any priorities, and, and that would be one way to do it. Or the other way, and the better way, and probably the way you ran your office when you were a prosecutor, is to say we want to focus on expediting the removal of those who are criminals, of those who are fugitives, of those who are repeat violators, of those who are recent entrants. Congressional Republicans say the memo is an attempt of the president to bypass Congress and grant amnesty. I'd also like assurances again that this administration is, isn't using creative ways to keep as many undocumented people in this country. The goal, of course, is to administratively close some of the low-priority cases so that we can facilitate handling the higher-priority cases. In November, House Democrats traveled to Alabama, one of several states facing a federal lawsuit after passing harsh anti-immigrant laws. The state of Alabama, the state of Carolina, even Sheriff Joe Arpaio himself in Arizona cannot deport anyone. That is the federal government's job. My advice to immigrants in Alabama or anywhere else is that if you have a U.S. citizen child, Carry a copy of their birth certificate with you at all times. The federal government filed lawsuits against at least five states, including Arizona, Alabama, Utah, Georgia, and South Carolina. Yes, the Congress needs to pass comprehensive immigration reform, but the power of the federal government is a superior power to the states. From the UNM Washington News Bureau, I'm Adriana McGinley.